really am serious with you, though, regardless of what I'm saying or how I look. I'm serious with this. You people, please quit bringing your pets to the store with you. Please quit bringing the more nasty, stinking, filthy pets. Maybe they don't stink to you because you stink right along with them. Because it's your dog, your cat, right? People like me that don't have a pet, don't really want a pet, don't really want your pet, dander, on my stuff. On my stuff, you say, how does it get on my stuff? Huh? Because, all right, some of you that hadn't thought about this, think about it now. And let's get a petition or something going that, that, that get these stores to ban people with pets. Unless it's a real service dog that have to be walking on his own four feet. Not you pushing him around in a buggy or in a baby carriage. How is that serviceable? <laughs> if you need it that bad, stay at home. <laughs> All right. Check it out, y'all. This is this the part you, some of you don't get. You think it's all cute and fine and dandy and everything, but it ain't. Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's say... Which one should I start with? The dog or the stinking ass filthy cat? I'm going to start with the cat. Since I hate cats so much. Uh, by the way, y'all, I used to have a cat back in the old days. <laughs> but I grow to hate cats. Uh, just say, because this is lady, she comes to a store I come to. And she got this big fluffy cat. I'm talking about the cat. I don't know how big the cat is actually because it's just full of hair. The hair about this long on that cat. It's just, and she's like wow, just like wow. Everybody be looking at the cat and everything. And I don't know if she retarded or I don't know if she throwed or what. You know what I'm saying? Cats have a was called a litter box. Cats stand on that litter box and pee pee and poo poo. <laughs> and that's feces and all kinds of other stuff coming out of that cat. Now he's scratching at that. And now, yeah, you, you scoop him up and you put him in a buggy at the store, right? Now you got feces and hair in that buggy and then I go and take uh, let's say my bread that the store put it in that book who washes their hands after using the bread bag I do I do you a goddamn lie <laughs> When you go and let's say you wash your hands up real nicely, right? You don't wash them up good. Oh, they smell great. You take that bag. Now there's a few people that do wash stuff like that. Now cause of the the virus that went around, they wipe all their little junk off. But uh, I'm one of the ones that don't. Never have. I ain't grew up that way. Okay, all right, the bag that been in there with all the dog, feces, cats, and all that, all right. Now, you go and get that bag, open it up, pow, pow, and you reach in there, grab your bread. You got what was on the outside of that bag, in that bag now. Is that fair? Is that fair? No, it's not. So, hoping the people that was getting ready to argue this, well, jump my side. Get on, get on this side of the ship. Come on over. Come on over here. Come on over to my place. <laughs> and 
somebody get it started. I don't know how to do it actually. Let's get it started to where you cannot bring these animals to no store unless they are service. Back in the old days, y'all, a service dog was one of the ones mainly that was taking a blind person around or something in that nature. You know what I'm saying? leading them. These folks these days are so weak. Yeah, I said it, weak. W-H-E-A-K. That was so weak that they talking about we need emotional support dogs. Emotional support your ass back at home. How about that? Because this is a cruel world. You shouldn't come out in it. Go in one of them hospitals that got the padded walls. How about that? It is... It is extremely nasty. Now that was the cat, y'all. The dog pretty much the same, but he don't he don't be in the in in in, in the in the in the uh in the little bed with the not the bed but the what's that thing called? Little box. Yeah. He ain't in the little box. But the dog is all over the ground. You know what's on the ground. Dust. Dust is pet dander. Dust is human skin. Dust is a little dirt. Dust is pollen. Dust is whatever else else is on the ground. Dried up dog doo doo. He walking his paws in it. You scoop this dog up, throw him in the buggy. Bow. Now I put my potato chips in that buggy. <laughs> and when I open my potato chips, I dig my hand and I got all that on my chips now. It's plainly not fair, nasty, and the people that do it is inconsiderate of everybody else. If you can't leave this pet at home, I don't know what kind of animal that is. I'm going to go back to that. If you can't leave them at home, get your groceries brought to you. How about that? But, like I said, what kind of animal, dog is that or whatever? You ever seen, now about what back in my day, back these days, they don't have it these days. I don't think, but... Ah. Back in my day, there used to be signs on the pole where they'll say, Lost Dog Reward. A dog don't get lost, y'all. He run away. The dog may have been getting molested, beat, <laughs> or whatever. Dog find people. You be like, he'll sniff this. Pew, he at him. He go find that person under rocks and everything. And you tell me he can't find his way back home. He can't smell his own feet and get back home. <laughs> so people. I like yawn. Ah. I know why, but why did I ask that question? I don't know. Uh Can't we all just get along? Leave the pets at home. It actually sickens me every time I see it. Yes, it do. When I see a damn dog and somebody bugging, or and so man, yeah, 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 let me let's erase that one, y'all. When I was at the job the other day, is this guy came to uh? repair some cameras in one of our trucks. In his truck, he had this little toy dog. Not a real toy, but a dog, a little, little dog. Dog just running around, around in the van, just looking around like. So now he got to waste company gas and everything by leaving the van running because the dog in there, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to get hot or cold. Just, you couldn't come to work without this dog.
<laughs> and then another thing they need to do to people if you come trade a car and it's got pit hair all in it they should knock 10 grand off of that car 10 grand they should tell you you need to go get a professional detail to get all this out of there before we before we give you more than 10 well before we give you your 10 back if you don't want that take it somewhere else when you get there 10 grand and then a person like me when you turn back around and come to back to me 11 grand you said 10 you didn't want to act right you went to somebody else didn't you and they told you the same thing I think they need to charge extra for stuff like that I mean cause a, a person that's like like I said people that's got these pets don't care about other people you could be a person that's a, uh, not addicted but what is it it ain't addicted to a dog, but allergic to dog, which is called pet dander. It makes you mess up real bad. Now you go and buy a, a car, pre-owned car, and you don't know why you messed up so bad. Until one day somebody said, you see all this hair in here? Yeah, that's what got me. You know what I'm saying? See, back in the good old days, a dog was tied to a tree or either running the streets. Or in the house. He wasn't in no car. If he was in a car, the owners were getting ready to take him and drop him off in some woods or somewhere to leave it. That was it. Yeah, they did that back in my day, y'all. They didn't want the dog no more, whatever. They take him off somewhere and leave his ass. <laughs> I, I think I got some family members that did that. And I think they said the dog ended up finding his way back or something in that nature. Hey, let's do this.